Wow. Let's get into it. Come on closer, come in closer, come in closer. I'm gonna I'm come, I'm come to you. I'm gonna I'm come to you. But but we gonna get close real quick. We gonna get close real quick so you can see, so you can see. Okay, you got you gotta be able to see this. You gotta see it to believe it. Look at them curls, yeah. Look at them curls all throughout the hair. So, woo, look at them curls. Welcome back to my channel. It is Key, aka Natural Debutante, and today we are going to be doing a wash and go or wash and mm -mm boo. No, this wash and go is going to be featuring the Style Factor Edge Booster. Let's see how this wash and go turns out, then stay tuned. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. We upload every Tuesday and Friday. So, back to the schedule program. I got this when I went home. I'm from Long Beach, so I went home for something and they had the gel there. So I was like really excited because here in San Diego, <sighs> child, trying to get good pro natural hair products sometimes be a struggle, struggle. So I was really excited when I found this. I found this like right at the beauty supply, right down the street from my house, from where I grew up. And it was like, how much is this? 18 bucks, which is really expensive for a gel. Let's start there. $18 for a gel, it's really, really expensive. But you do get a lot. And this smells amazing. It smells super, super sweet. So they have different scents. And this one is lemon berry scent. This is a lot of gel. So. One, I'm really nervous about this wash and go because I am not going to be using a curling custard. If you are familiar with my wash and go series, you know that I always pair my wash and goes with a curling custard. So I'm going to try this without a curling custard and see how it turns out. So when you open it, there is this little spoon. I mean, I don't know who's gonna be using this spoon, but that's cute or whatever. Maybe another time. And there is a protective coat. So you can see, and it's thick. It's the, uh, can you see that? Ooh, she really thick. Ooh, she really, really thick. Okay. So my hair has been co-washed and I applied the leave-in conditioner while I was in the shower. I have a little frosty hair, so I always apply it in the shower. And I use the Mish Beauty Lavish Leave-In. So we're just going to get started. I'm just going to take my hair out of this. I'm just going to start in the back and work my way to the front. Just going to take a clip, clip half of that out the way. Work in smaller sections because we're not using any type of curling custard. No curling custard. How will it turn out? So this is the top and you better believe for $18 I'm going to be using all this on the top too. Okay. Waste no products over here. As I said that, it fell. Ugh. Still good, guys. We're in the clear. Okay, so this is how much I'm taking. And I'm just going to work this in to the section. And again, if you are familiar with my Wash and Go series, then you know that I do the raking and prayer hands method. It's definitely defining the curls though, bruh. Okay. Curls are defined. Look at that. That was quick. That was really quick. And I didn't have to use that much. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Curls are definitely defined though. Like really defined. That looks really good. Okay. So I'm just gonna move on to the next section. And again, I'm just taking what's on this top here, I'm just gonna take some off of there. And work it into the section. This is really interesting. It's kind of sticky, 
and the scent is very strong for people who have like strong reactions to scents this is not for you at all because the scent is strong but the curl definition is strong okay look at this hey oh my gosh that looks really good i wonder what happened if i shingle Blah, i'm not sure bro bye i know what it is time for that definitely clumping so i probably gonna have to do a lot of separating afterwards but it looks really good so that's the first section and i'm just gonna move on to the second section i like doing wash and goes because they're super super fast and they dry pretty quickly because so i have a hooded dryer if you don't have a hooded dryer like invest if you can because they really really significantly help you can do deep conditioning with them you can you can set styles with them like i use them to set my wash and go and i have a bonnet hair dryer too the Layla ali one but i like the hooded one i like the Layla ali one for or the bonnet dryer for deep conditioning and then i like because i like to sit on the couch <laughs> and then i like the hooded dryer for setting styles so this is the next section again the curls look so good they look so good yes and it's they're super shiny too which is really interesting to me but i'm just gonna do this throughout the rest of my hair and then i will be back at the end to show you what we are looking like before we dry our hair so put on put on some music and vibe out with me and we'll see what we're looking like These are the final results and for the most part it looks really good. I'm scooting closer so hopefully you can see like these curls. They look really good. I'm very impressed considering I did not use a curling custard at all. I don't know if I'm impressed with the gel or is it just my hair? Is my hair flourishing out here in 2019 or is it the gel? I don't know. I think it's my hair. But no, this gel is really, really good so far. I'm gonna go sit under the dryer. First impressions of this gel is that it's very sticky. Very, very, very sticky, okay? Very sticky. But my hair looks good. I'm going to go sit under the dryer and then I will be back to show you the final result. Hi loves, welcome back. I sat under the dryer for like 20, 30 minutes-ish my roots are still dry but everything else is dry and then i did my makeup as you can tell and i used the jackie eye palette but we are not here for the jackie eye palette we are here to discuss the style factor edge booster now this gel is thick okay thick it smells really really good they have multiple scents it smells really good I use like that much so that's not that much at all actually and because this is so expensive I better be able to get good few uses out of this okay because this gel was not cheap it's $18 that's a lot of money that's $20 for a gel do you know how often I have to use gel okay let's start there let's talk about it but since I didn't have to use that much this will last and I'm happy about that so this gel worked really, really well on my hair. I absolutely love it. Let's get into it. 
come on closer, come in closer, come in closer. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna come to you. But but we gonna get close real quick. We gonna get close real quick so you can see, so you can, so you can see. Okay, you got you gotta be able to see this. You gotta see it to believe it. Look at them girls, y'all. Look at them curls all throughout the hair. So, ooh, look at them curls. So I still have a gel cast. I did not break the cast. I don't plan on doing that until tomorrow. But I really, really, really like this. I am shocked because I always pair all of my gels with a curling custard. I like the Myel Organics and the Kinky Curly. Those are my two faves. And this was with no curling custard. It looks so good. It defined my hair so well. There is a gel cast, so I'm pretty sure it's going to last for an extended amount of time. I really, really like this gel. Comment down below and let me know if this is a wash and go or a wash and mm 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 boo. No, no, no. And I will see you in the next one. Wake, meditate, and slay.